Boyd. Well, finally, Jack. I've been dying to reach you these past two weeks, but I thought I should give you some time to recover your strength. How are you feeling? Better than ever, Mr. Sand, touched by your concern. Well, I hope this doesn't sound too sentimental, Jack. But while you were laying in a coma, I thought about our last meeting many times. It was such a fascinating conversation. You said it yourself. You're a true hunter. Ah, uh, no, Mr. Sand, it was you who said that. Was it? Well, it doesn't matter. What is important, Kendrick told me a lot about you, Jack. But I suddenly realized that he didn't give me the whole story. Why is it you only want half? What are you talking about? Well, why is it you only want to make half? Not a whole million, just half. Not one hundred thousand, but five. It's a very specific figure. How did you arrive at that number? Well, I was looking at a house a couple hours outside of Freeburg, down the river. I figured to buy it, move the family, and set everything up, I'd need right around five hundred thousand. It's not my style to take more than I need. Ah. I must admit, Jack, I imagined all sorts of reasons. Are you disappointed, Mr. Sand? No, 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 not with you, Jack. Quite the contrary. Well, I'm glad to hear that, Mr. Sand. And now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go home and get some sleep. Of course, Jack. I just... Oh yeah, the work is definitely piling on. <laughs> Truth is, if I didn't have Palmer helping me catch the psycho... I... Yeah. You know, when he got here, right? And the stuff the newspapers are saying. Is it true? What are the newspapers saying? The girl who was killed. She filed a sexual harassment complaint against the mayor? What about the other victims? Were they harassed by the mayor, too? Well, it, it's hard to say. Is it true? So far, the mayor's the only thing we have connecting the victims. Someone must have pressured her, but, uh, it's hard to say anything for sure. But is it true? Do you think it's true? Well, let's just say it seems like it might be. The mayor raped me. Can you repeat that? The mayor of Freeburg, Stuart Rogers? When did this happen? Four and a half years ago when I was just out of college. I drank the champagne, it was hot out, the music was loud. I found a conference room, then a few minutes later, the mayor came in with his guard. I, I didn't have time to figure out what was going on. This went on. It lasted about ten minutes. Look, Lana, it would be very difficult to prove anything at this point, but You it... wouldn't have to prove anything. A video? A recording from a surveillance camera. But how... Six months after it happened, someone slipped the cassette under my door. Quite a scandal, if you recall. Lana, don't don't worry about a thing. Sir. No, we're not going to do that. Lana, listen to me. You need it's to. It's been four years. Lana, whatever you've been thinking, I promise you, it would be better no, if. No, you... it wouldn't be better. If I step forward now, I ruin all my efforts, my whole future. I'll be humiliated, and then I'll be attacked. Lana, you're talking about covering up a crime. I'm doing it because I know it's the right thing to do. Then you're a fool. Oh my god, I, I just... I made a mistake, just... Lana, L Lana! Shit. Shit!
Yeah, understood. Thank you very much, Walt. Sorry again for waking you up. Uh, hey, Martin, wait a minute. Martin, you still hang around with uh, Bo Berenger? Of course. In fact, he's my stepfather. Great. Think he has a couple of men available? Today? Right now, in fact? There's something important I need taken care of. Um, sure. Something you need help moving? Uh, not exactly. Here's the address. I need this house watched. 
all day and all night until I say stop. If anyone suspicious goes poking around, tie him up and bring him here. I'll pay double the usual rate, or triple, whatever he needs, and nobody else knows about this, right? Jack, they're more into looking after valuables. What's the difference? Well, these guys probably wouldn't care either way. Okay, Jack, no problem. Well, let's focus on today, Martin. Now keep that house secure, all right? Okay, okay, I have a phone in the car. I'll call Bo right away. I appreciate it, Martin. Believe me, I do. Hey, Jack. Yeah? Anything else I need to know about this? Uh, no. Better you don't. Hello? I'm an addict. Please, I don't want- Listen to me, Lana. R I really am an addict. But sometimes in the more desperate moments, more than a few times, I've come pretty close. I've been on drugs while I made decisions where dozens of lives were on the line. It's my weakness. But I always knew that if I admit my weakness, that if I start talking about the problem publicly, if I go to rehab, then I'm already as good as retired. They'll take advantage of the scandal and get rid of me forever. It doesn't matter all the good work I'm trying to do at the police department. They'll just bury me. So I'm keeping my problem a secret, at least until I can retire. I have to. I know it's the right thing to do. You realize, Jack, this is the first time you ever called me? What? You called me this time. I thought you were just waiting for me to stop bugging you. <laughs> Maybe you're stoned? What? I... <laughs> no, I'm not stoned right now. Well, Jack, I guess you need me as much as I need you. I need you more than you need me. Now I know you're stoned. Lana, I'm... You were... I heard everything you said, Jack. I understood everything just fine. You don't need to say anything else. Right, exactly. Say no more. <laughs>